One day! I've had my quest cape for one day, and Jagex puts another master level quest in the game with a quest boss the very next day. Why am I not surprised? I am in disarray. I am displeased, distraught even. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, I just want it back. I'll make you a deal. Go on this quest for me, and I'll give you your quest cape back. Oh, son of a Hey, what's up, my dudes? My name's Visby. I'm on the road to maxing my main account. We just got Quest Cape a couple days ago, and now we have to get it again. This video was going to be me checking off some achievement diaries, but then I thought, hey, I've got a few hours before my mushroom patch grows in Canifis for the Mauritania diary, so let's go do that new quest in the meantime. So here we are. Secrets of the North. Old School RuneScape's latest master quest. But there's a slight issue. While I do meet the skill requirements, I do not meet the mini quest requirements. All we need to do is the General's Shadow mini quest. And apparently, word of my great success in the Gnome Stronghold as lead detective, judge, jury, and executioner on the Glove case did not travel this far. So, to begin the quest, we must prove our worth to an otherworldly entity. General Kazard is roaming around here somewhere but in order to see him, we're wearing the Ring of Visibility, the Ghost Speak Amulet so we can talk to him, and honestly, I don't know what the ghost robes are for, but they look hella dank. Now, for some reason, we are untrustworthy by default, so he wants us to visit the Sin Seer so she can essentially provide a testimonial of our trustworthiness. Hello? Oh, God! Now, in contrast to the status quo of RuneScape quests, the Sin Seer doesn't actually want us to do anything for her to prove that we are, in fact, trustworthy. She just wants us to bribe her 40 GP, which I find very strange. Isn't 40 GP like a minuscule amount of money even for Ultimate Iron Men? Cool, so she gives us this nifty little note that we can give to General Kazard. The note says we've committed many sins and atrocities in our life. So, I'm confused. Were we scammed by the Sin Seer, or did she know this is what the note should say for the general to trust us? I don't know, but he wants us to deliver a message to his ghost scouts that are positioned in various locations around the world. Right. I am now Visby, the messenger ghost. Off we go! Ghost boy number one is over here in the desert by Shanty's Pass. Sucks for him. Imagine being a ghost and you have to be in the desert for the foreseeable duration of your afterlife. Can ghosts sweat? My dude, do you need some agua? Now we're going to Falador to tell the scout station there. He says he longs for the slaughter, but wouldn't say any more. There's talk in the village that the Count of Draenor Manor has been slain by some meddling adventurer. Hmm, wonder who that could be. Ghost boy number three is in Karam. Probably my least favorite place in the entire game. Supposed to be a scout here somewhere. Not seeing him. They don't show up on the map, so you just have to look around for them. Oh, no, that's a tribesman. Well, what the hell? Oh, there he is. There he is. Stop walking away from me. Okay, so we told him about the message, then he mentions the gnomes, so we know to go to the gnome stronghold to find the last scout. The general will be strong again, and we will push back this tide of filth that is humanity. That's not good. <laughs> oh, he heard about Gluff. Well, I'm glad that word of my epic victory has reached at least as far as the front gate of the gnome stronghold. I guess that's a good start. <laughs> He wants us to return a message to General Kazard. We of the blood are still loyal. Pavlov is the messenger. Okay, sure. All right, one last trip to the general, who I cannot find. Where did he go? He was right here. Oh, another player. Do you see him? Cause I don't. Oh, there he is. He went across the road, sneaky little c So we give him the message and he says to go to a nearby cave and seek out one who lives in the shadow realm who will reward us well. Mm hmm. Sure. Oh, and he's giving us a key. Hmm, that's okay. Off we go then. Let's get our reward. Don't mind me, just gonna grab some armor just for reasons. And here's the cave. You have a bad feeling about crawling into the next cavern. On the contrary, I have quite a good feeling. Oh no, Kazard tricked me. He's trying to kill me. Again. Shocker. I mean, bouncer. <laughs> 
Ooh, a shadow sword. Very runescapey. Well, now, isn't this a sight to behold? Full bandos, an agility cape, and a druidic wreath. I am truly the epitome of the phrase scape with style. <laughs> This knight here seems to have some questions for me. Yes, I was hired by Cyril Carnelian to find the cultists who stole his armor. No, I was not successful. <laughs> An unthinkable crime has taken place. Well, you're speaking to just the right person. I'm Detective Visby, judge, jury, and executioner. Pleased to meet you. Oh, you don't think it was me? You're just putting on a show for Lady Carnelian. Gotcha. Well, why don't I take a look, eh? After all, that's the only way for me to get my quest cape back, right? <laughs> He's like, what? Oh, that's brutal. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen a dead human model face down like that in RuneScape. Is this a first or am I just not very observant? Well, we're definitely coming out of retirement to wear our detective badge once again. The body of Sir Cyril Carnelian. Cause of death, stab wound to the back, seemingly by an unusually thin blade. Hmm, okay. Aren't most blades thin? I mean, obviously if they used an ax, that would be pretty blunt, <laughs> but how can you tell a bloody stab wound is from an unusually thin blade? I'm just saying, there's tons of options and a thin blade seems like a very poor choice of a murder weapon, but hey, it clearly worked, so who am I to judge? And ooh, there seems to be a hidden room here. I wonder, I wonder. <gasps> a chest. And it's been forced open. Was someone after Hazil's restoration scroll? <gasps> Hmm, a murderer and a thief on the loose. Quite troubling. Let's tell the guard what happened. He shows us an amulet with a skull on it. He found it by the window. Hmm, the skull is the symbol of the Khazard army. <gasps> that fiend. You mean the same General Khazard I was just doing a quest for? Egad. And the name Evelot is engraved on the back. Oh. So either Evelot is an extremely clumsy murderer or someone is setting up Evelot. What do you mean your superiors won't be happy if you open an investigation into a member of the Khazard army? Cyril is a knight of this kingdom and you're just gonna offload the case to an adventurer who already once failed a mission for said knight? Okay, sure. Wait, am I not technically a knight of Artie? Wasn't that part of a previous quest? Okay, so the reason he can't start an investigation is because the Khazard army operates with approval from the monarchy, while I operate with the approval of me, myself, and I. Which makes me Detective Visby, Judge, Jury, Executioner, Mercenary, and Lone Ranger on this case. Very well. He suggests we start our search for Evelot at the bar by the fight arena. Ooh, goody. Pardon me, barkeep. Are you familiar with anyone by the name Evelot? Just gonna give him a little incentive. Oh, we just missed her. Look around outside, he says. Righty-ho. Ah, yes, I inspect some barrels and footprints magically appear. That's how that works. These could be anyone's footprints, but we're gonna follow them anyway, because quest. There's Evelot trying to escape. Stop right there. <gasps> she attacks. Stop resisting. This is your amulet, yes? Found at the scene of a murder? It was stolen and someone must have planted it. Ha! I don't believe your lies. Not after what you just did. You were hired to break in and steal something, but you don't know by whom? I never saw his face. He kept his hood up. That makes you an idiot. Why would you do a job for someone you not only don't know, but can't see or recognize in the event they try to screw you over? Clearly, you haven't played RuneScape before. He wanted you to steal a scroll, but it wasn't there. Uh-huh. Sure. You had nothing to do with the murder? Yeah, you did. Guilty by association. You made a verbal agreement with a masked stranger to do something very illegal. You should have known something terrible could happen. So even if you're innocent to the murder, you're guilty of being an idiot. You were planning to deliver the scroll to the cultists, but they already stole it. So why hire you to steal it again? A just question. Are you free to go? <laughs> Absolutely not. I, Visby, first of my name, ruler of miscellanea, slayer of demons and dragons, white knight of Ceridoman, judge, jury, and executioner sentence you to death. Right, that was dramatic. Moving on. We know the cultists are involved, so let's see if we can confront them. Hazil seems to be elsewhere, preoccupied, unfortunately. Apparently, Cyril's death was not their doing, though Alamone here seems overjoyed to hear the news. Tell me, where is your master? For I much desire to speak with him. Ah, the big baddie himself. Why, yes, Evelot is a part of the Khazard army. Summon Khazard. Oh, shit, about to go down. Call him. Human filth? How? 
dare you? Yeah, thanks for checking in. I'm still, still a piece of garbage. You're one to talk about betrayal, Kazard. You just tried to feed me to your pooch, remember? You don't involve yourself in the personal affairs of your soldiers? Well, clearly not. What is with you people and shifting blame when you are 100% guilty by association? Well, I didn't do it, so I'm completely innocent, right? Right? Ritual? What ritual? There's a ritual soon? What? Return to the Carnelian Mansion and uncover any information I might have missed. <gasps> yes, the family. Surely they must know something. You boy, what did you see? What did you hear? Speak! <coughs> hmm, perhaps I was a touch aggressive. Besides, I shouldn't interview a minor without a parent or guardian present. No matter. Surely the adults know something. <gasps> Why, yes, I was the one your husband hired to deal with the cult. Sorry about that. <laughs> there was a noise from that room and you heard your husband shout something. Are we talking Fusro Da or something a little quieter? You don't know. Okay, great. Thanks for nothing. You there, chef. I'd like a BLT. I mean, what did you see? What did you hear? Speak! You had a cold feeling next to the warm stove. Well, that's what heroin will do to you. Oh, and you saw a shadow. Okay, uh, sure. Uh, well, why don't you get back to whatever and let me take a look around, okay? What's this? A small button on the wall behind the shelf? Intriguing. Push. <gasps> Click. A passage. Oh, there's a chest in here. Where, where are we? Why is this room nowhere close to the kitchen? Or the house? Or anything, really? Hmm, perhaps I can pick this lock. Like this. Move that up. What, no thieving XP? Come on. Dusty scroll. What's on the dusty scroll? Ah, yes. Is that Zerosian, the symbol in the middle? I'm not sure. Let's go back to Hazil. <laughs> so there was likely a crest with the scroll? You want me to leave? Why? Wait, wait, wait. You're going to the ice trolls? I have experience with the ice trolls. I can help. <gasps> Meet you there. Yes, I will do that. Luckily, I have a Weiss teleport in my inventory. How convenient. They are... Where the hell are they? Aha! So, based on my discovery, they believe the killer must have traveled here. Talk to the leader. Right. I can do that. Who's the leader? <laughs> Oh, so there was a cave-in recently, down in the mine. That's noteworthy. Ah, so there's an underground prison owned by the Carnelians that remained hidden after the God Wars, and they believe the killer means to open the prison. But we don't know what for. I smell a sequel. And they believe the killer may have the other half of the crest. I still don't know how the crest plays a part in all this, but I'm sure I will eventually. Ah, so the ritual they were talking about is one to ensure their survival, and the relevance of said ritual is dependent on the killer's identity. Well, now it's time to investigate the mine. Oh, look at you two, quarreling like an old married couple. No, you wait here. Very well. See, Hazil has a redeemable quality that makes him more worthy of praise in my opinion, and that's patience. Oh, sh we're just going for it. Okay. Dude isn't even going to talk. He's just, I kill you. Just going to lure him into his own smoke clouds. Not really sure what that does, but it's working. You poison me, I poison you. <gasps> he vanished. He's likely still nearby. <laughs> it's, it's a, a trick. trick. He's, He's run, run off, off into the woods. woods. Oh, I knew him? He killed some monks and stole a relic for them. I helped him, but didn't realize until it was too late. I do not remember that. <laughs> So you were always a fool. N no, that's only on Thursdays. So dude was trying to open that door, but likely still only had half the crest. So you're able to sense others of your kind and their death, but you sense neither. So you think he's masking his presence. And as it happens, we are standing in a place where your senses are inoperable. Well, that's incredibly... Mm. Okay, so you think he's nearby. Got it, I'll have a look around. Hmm, a padlock, whatever will I do? There's no way I can just guess the combination and- Hey, it worked! There's a lever mechanism in here, missing the lever, of course, and a scroll. <gasps> What's back here? A letter, interesting. Read that if you want to, I'm not going to. <laughs> More notes. <gasps> Encrypted, it would seem. Most unfortunate. Ah, a lever. Perhaps it's the missing lever from before. Click. Another lock. Something tells me the combination is blood. Hey, what do you know? Three, two, four, one. What rubbish. Another lock. Surely it would be impossible to guess the combination three times in a row. 
Behold my mind, for it is an enigma. Dang, it's cold in here. I'm gonna light these braziers in no particular order. <gasps> Another click? Uncanny. I find a note and a shard. Hmm. Stay with me, we're almost through this. <laughs> Okay, check this column. Get another shard. Combine shards. Use shard on chest. Get key. Unlock gate. Bada bing, bada boom. We're in. Cool. Here's what's happening. In the next room, there's a boss called the Phantom Muspa. He's not too difficult as long as you get into the rhythm. So I'm just bringing Elite Void. Don't say anything. Don't judge me. You know how much I love Void. Just go with it. I'm just here to get my quest cape back. End, End of story. story. Goodbye. Goodbye. The end. end. Any questions? questions? Good. In we go. What even is this? What is a muspa? <laughs> like most bosses are based on familiar creatures like spiders or scorpions or snakes. But what the f is this based on? <laughs> so here's what I know. We're gonna kite him around the room and attack with magic. He changes his attack style. We move out of the way of the spike and change our attack style too. There he goes. Now we protect range and switch to range. Now we just watch for his magic attack and pray for it. Ooh. Easy peasy. Oh, our Lord, who art in heaven, oh. hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, oh. thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Oh. I am not a Christian. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. I really need you to hit something. Stop hitting zeros. Come on. Oh, back to range. Uh oh, the spikes, they are following me. What do I do? Ah! Back to mage. Katie, 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 Kate. Ah! Ranged again. Gonna make my way around these spikes because he's gonna do a shockwave soon, and I will be safe here. Okay, here's the soul split phase. I'm not even going to try to offset my attack and smite him. I'm just using Sapphire Bolts and sticking with that. Ah, I missed the switch. Ooh. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. It's fine. We're okay. Move over. Come on. We got this. Move. Come on! Hey, there it is. What, what the, the fork? fork? Who, Who are, are you? you? Jalan, or Halan, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Just another nightmare, yes, yes. Add your worst nightmare to my list of titles. I stand before the mighty Halan. I'm gonna go with Halan. Silent J, I think it sounds better. I'm Detective Visby, judge, jury, executioner, mercenary, and lone ranger, pleased to meet you. You wanna tell me what you're up to? Meaningless being, yeah, okay, Tiara boy. Listen, there's an assassin around these parts looking for that crest, and he's after you. I will not be intimidated by a pathetic I literally just defeated you. I'm holding a dragon cross crossbow to your tiara skull, you bony ass pleb. <laughs> Who am I? I just told you. Were you not listening? Oh. <laughs> the assassin. Wh what? The assassin captured. Oh, that was a capture. Okay. He has everything he needs to enter the prison. Well, that's not good. Ah, Jagex, why? <laughs> I can't see now. He used the shadow realm. I don't know what that means. He got inside. Oh, yeah, I know what that means. Oh, so we failed, technically? Return to the authorities and Artie. All right, perhaps one day our questions will be answered. Yeah, I smell a sequel quest. <laughs> hey, my dude, I'm back. So an assassin has captured Halan, and there's nothing we can do but wait. Cyril pretty much just got in the way. His death wasn't really relevant to the main plot at hand. Jones was found dead in his cell, poisoned by the looks of it. Oh, well, that sucks. Thanks for your help. Oh, it was my pleasure, truly. Always happy to come out of retirement just to get my quest gate back. <gasps> yes, quest complete. Oh, hey, there's that thieving XP I was looking for. Hunter XP too, very nice. What was the agility XP for? I didn't do any agility. Yeah, whatever. Keep, 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 keep. Yes. Oh, my threads, the drip, it's back. Well, my dudes, that was Secrets of the North.
So here's the situation. I'm making good progress on my achievement diaries, and I will continue making progress. That's what the next video will be. However, there's a very special game releasing soon called Hogwarts Legacy, and I will be playing that heavily. The Wizarding World and I go back to a time before I even started playing RuneScape. I know everything about Harry Potter. I studied the series for my college literature class. I've never failed a quiz. I've won every trivia game on that subject you cannot best me. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're playing Harry Potter. Ha! <laughs> so, with that said, I may make some Hogwarts Legacy content and make a separate playlist for that. But let me know your thoughts. Tell me what you want to see. Anyway, thanks so much for joining me on this quest. Remember to always click with passion. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, happy scaping.